Uh, gotcha. In, in 1992, there was a, a big hurricane down here in Miami called Hurricane Andrew. And I my remember. home was, was like, it was, to, you know, the hurricane came and, and I lost my home. And then I went to my family. I lived with them for a while in Buffalo. On my so your whole side. house was wiped out, dude, from the hurricane? Yo, the, the, like I live in Homestead. The eye of Andrew came through and it fucking wiped out. Cut what was it like? Homestead. Like, what did you evacuate before? Like, what? No, nah, it was the most scary shit that I probably ever went through as a little kid, man. I'm I'm in the closet with my stepfather, my my my, my mom. We're doing prayers. It was pretty fucking bad. The roof came. It, That's got to be horrifying because the force of nature and watching the strength of that. Now I'm fascinated with hurricanes myself. That's why. Wow, you survived, Andrew, and you were in the eye of that. So yeah. your whole house came off, and when the house stopped doing that, like, where did you just go? Did you just like uh? What, 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 that must have been scary as hell. They had to rebuild. They had to rebuild that house. Um, my my mom and my stepfather they stayed, and I I I had left. I went I went to whatever. So they uh, the stepfather went got a trailer from Missouri, came back, and they stayed there, and I left. I left. Every and, house destroyed on your street. The whole. The, whenever you get a chance, look at Hurricane ha Andrew Homestead, nineteen ninety two. It wiped out the whole South Dade area, Cutler Bay. Jeez. Homestead, Florida State, the Keys, it wiped out that whole area. Was there flooding? Um, not not too much flooding. It, it, it wasn't that much flooding. It was just it was just chaos. well the like, dangers in the hurricane, uh, the flooding and the flying objects like uh, a, a hmm. stop sign will cut you in half. Flying in a hurricane, like hurricanes, are very dangerous, man. What I remember of Homestead from when I was twelve before that is. It, it's different now. Like after I was twelve, they like rebuilt everything, and it looks nothing. Basically, like they yeah, they had to restart all over again. There was an ice skating arena that 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 that, that took where it was a. Well, basically alley. wiped out the whole town. Yeah, it, it oh. they had to rebuild a lot of fucking shit. It, yeah. Did most of the people come back, or most of the people just moved away? Uh, no, people, I mean, people can't, you know, pe people came back, uh, you know, like there was like my next door neighbors and everyone, they all went like some of my buddies, they went to North Carolina, New York. And then within like four or five months, I came back after that. And some of my buddies returned, but it was just, they just rebuilt that whole, the whole town. It was just totally different. That's uh, that's one thing that's scary about a hurricane, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, or a tornado, anything like that. The force of nature getting cut in half, ripped apart, losing everything, everything your own. Yeah, and and I'm I'm telling you, and the eye, the, the eye, man, it was it was scary because there was a part in that in that storm where everything was everything was calm. My mom, we we came out, we came out of the closet. Um, the next helicopter itself, uh, Maurice Johnson is his name. First of all, Maurice, uh, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you, Rick. Go ahead. Maurice, um, you and I have known each other a long time, so I'm going to ask you this question quite bluntly. With the exception of the wars in which you have fought, have you ever seen pictures that resemble the type of destruction that you're flying over right now? Uh, that's negative. This, what you see now, is what you call total destruction. Especially like here, over at the airport, I've seen places that's been bombed out that did not create the destruction that Hurricane Andrews just caused to this area. We were, Shelly and I are looking at these pictures, you know, and we almost want to uh, not believe that some of these buildings actually uh, were something other than uh, perhaps uh, dilapidated buildings to begin with or maybe buildings that were halfway constructed. Is, that's not the case, though, is it? Uh, no, the modern age building that we're shooting just at this particular moment is a fairly new building. It's only five years old. The shopping center that's across the street where it says Winn-Dixie, Kmart, that is a recent structure up there. It's built in the last six or seven years. Uh, the Cutler Ridge Mall, as you know, is one of the newest malls that we have in this area. And uh, like I said, it is total devastation. Maurice, can you kind of take us, you seem to know this area well, better than we do here. Why don't you take us on a tour and tell us which buildings you see and, and uh, what you know about the building. Okay, Sally, we're going to head over towards the Cutler Ridge Mall. All right, we're seeing the Winn-Dixie store right now. That's it. And we're seeing some residential areas. Okay, this is just 
north of the Turnpike Extension on the area, and it's east east of US-1. The building off to my left, off to my right, I'm sorry, is a modern age building from the rear. As you can see, as we pan along, as we are flying, you'll see nothing but debris that has been spread it all over, even empty fields. As we come up here towards the Cutler Ridge Mall, you'll see on the side of the Turnpike Extension an 18-wheeler where the cargo is laying upside down on the side of the road. That's oh, it right there. there. there That's we see it. it. Huh. And what's all that debris all over the place on the side of the road? That is loose pieces that were flying when uh, the hurricane hit, and they just happened to land there. Right now, we're coming up on the Holiday Inn in the Cutler Ridge Mall. As that, you can see... That's that, totally gutted, isn't it, Maurice? That's affirmative. That's a total devastation.